Who would marry Man Cow? We sent Tamron Hall to find out. This is Man Cow Muller, the man many tune into every morning to get their dose of madness. The man who buried himself alive and ran naked through the streets of Chicago. Follow me, I'm not too far from where Man Cow's, I think it's Madhouse, actually exists. It's, this could be scary, it could be informative, it could be a lot of things, but we're gonna find out who would marry, oh God, get ready, Man Cow Muller. Here we go! As I listened to his show and stood by Man Cow's crew, Turd, Freak, Cowboy Ray, just to name a few, I wondered, could they answer the big question? Who's your, who's your call? Who would marry Man Cow? <laughs> I'm not quite sure. A very patient woman. Good listener. A very, very stupid woman. Dude, gee, he's gonna see Ow. Oh. The mystery continues. Maybe we'll have to go to the source to find out who would marry Man Cow, and more importantly, who would hang out with him and his friend. Yeah, they wanna know who's that girl. The girl turns out to be Sandy Ferrando. <laughs> A 24-year-old, nice, sweet, Catholic, Italian girl who still lives at home, believe it or not, with her parents in Barrington. I sat down in the kitchen with Sandy and her mom, Ina. I had to ask Mama how she felt about her future son-in-law. I heard from other people. They said, your daughter dated somebody, said, yes, man, cow. What? Oh, my God. I stopped telling everybody. I couldn't because I was afraid that... And then little by little, now we all love him. It's okay, that's Mama. But what about Sandy, the girl who stole Eric's heart? You're about to become Mrs. Cow. Oh, <laughs> yes, Mrs. Muller. So you guys didn't talk about uh, whether or not you wanted to announce it. You, you, he, it was all in his hands. It was all in his hands, yeah. And, he, and I kind of wanted to stay out of all of it. Uh -huh. You know, I didn't want to, and look at me now, I'm on TV, but, you know, at first I'm like, you know, I kind of want to be in the shadow. I don't want to go out and say, hi, you know, I'm going to be Mrs. Mancow, you know, because it wasn't about me marrying Mancow, it was about me marrying Eric Muller. Right. How many years ago did you first meet him? Mm, a little over three years. I was a student at Dominican studying communications, and I had to take a video production class and do a documentary. The subject of her and documentary, Mancow, who had buried himself at the time, alive for charity. Well, Sandy was able to land an interview for an internship at Mancow's radio station. When I walked out, he told everyone there, he said, there's something about that girl. He goes, I don't know what it is. I have this strong emotion toward her. Uh -huh. I've never felt this before. He's like, I'm either going to marry that girl or I'm going to kill her. Did and you I feel hope the same <laughs> way? No, I thought he hated me. Oh, he didn't hate her. It was at their first date at Las Carola restaurant that they entered what they call the love bubble. And we started to talk, and the next thing you know, we like, we snapped out of our little love bubble, and the whole restaurant was empty. Man Cow finally proposed on Valentine's Day last year at the Shedd Aquarium in front of the Dolphins, Sandy's favorite. He just basically got down on his knees like, will you marry me? Like, he just had to get it out. Like, okay, if I say it really fast, I'll just get it out. You know? Sometimes I like sit back and I really think about it. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> I'm marrying this crazy man, you know? Um, but he is my dream guy. You know, he's wonderful. Sandy soon will be moving out of her parents' home in the Northwest suburbs and into Mancow's bachelor pad not for long in the city where sandy yeah. says some Wait, things will just Does have to go yeah. tomorrow tamron takes us to their home and we hear from mancow about the love bubble children and the wild reception he is planning that's they seem so, so romantic and uh, I think that's great. when she's ready to say what? frankenstein has to come down what, Wait a minute, is that, could that actually happen yes. well actually i will tell you what scares me this guy look at him look how scary he is he just stares at me. Are you getting rid of this? Yeah, we need to get rid of that guy. No, no. You know, you know, she did open up one of my closets and say, what are we gonna do with all this stuff? Mm -hmm. But everything, and I know, she tells me that every, stuff. this is your stuff. That's tough. Your stuff is that's going tough. nowhere. No, I'm not, my stuff's not going anywhere. This is the most important room in an Italian uh, that's right. house, isn't yeah, it, the kitchen? That's true. <laughs> so 
So you're ready to have her make meals every yeah, day? Yeah. Yes. You're kidding me. Oh, yes. Are you kidding? I've been a bachelur. I'm, yes. Oh, I, I, I've been. I've had a diet of Taco Bell. I'm ready. In fact, cook me a steak right now. Get on it. <laughs> this is great. All right, show me the rest of your house. This is the Love Palace. Come on, show them. Show them. She. The only thing she ever does on the bed is acrobatics. Go ahead. I am. Show them. <laughs> That's how you test out a good mattress. Hey, Andy, this man is rubbing funny. off on you, okay? No wonder you're ready to give up bachelorhood. Yeah, look at that. Look Two at weeks me. almost, you're going to be a married man. You know, I'm, I'm not scared at all. Why I mean, aren't you scared? The last 15 years of my life have been a bachelor party. I mean, it has been Amsterdam and Caligula and everything, a porno movie. I mean, it has been, I shouldn't say that. But hey, it, wait, wait a minute. It's, no, no, it, it has. It's been crazy. And, you know, I always heard people say when you meet, when you meet the right person, you know. And when I met her, I knew. I mean, it's, it's time. Was it love at first sight for you? Tamron, I got to tell you, I absolutely hate people that say that. I hate it. It's the stupidest thing ever. Love at first sight is garbage. And then it happened to me. How does it feel when you know she didn't exactly feel that same way? She was. She still has never spent the night here. Her parents, you know, she comes from a nice... Now, uh, people will be shot. Stop, 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 stop. Time out. Time out. What? When people hear yeah. that the woman that you're marrying, that right. you've dated for three years, yes. has never spent the night here. Right. She was very, she played hard to get, very coy, and um, it's been hell, Tamron, it really <laughs> So, you know, Sandy told us how everything went and you eventually ended up in what she calls the love bubble. But, <laughs> that's, that's but nice. she also that's told nice. me about Thanks. what a romantic... See, that's a camera, honey. You gotta be careful here. She doesn't know about all this stuff. Okay, she's learning fast. Oh, come on, people want to uh, hear about the Tell me bubble. about yeah. this, this romantic man, Cal. Who is this guy? I, Eric. I, uh, not, uh, not somebody I want to talk about on the TV. I, I you know, uh, this yeah. This is going to ruin you. You know, everyone's going to hear this, and you're going to be ruined. You know what? It's not going to ruin me, and I, I, I don't care if it does. I don't care. We, we, we are not, we are not our jobs. We are not. I'm not a stupid radio show. I, I'm not being cliche here when I say that 9-11 changed my life. And I reevaluated myself, and, and the answer is love. Love, that's it. And, and I embrace that part of me. And I'm telling you, I'm a lot happier. Oh, that's so sweet. But it's true. It is true. Oh, oh you're crying? Oh, now she's in the bubble. I'm in the love bubble. So it turns out that this wild, outrageous, high-strung cow is also the very romantic, <laughs> kind, loving Eric. Who knew? And thanks to Sandy, their wedding will be a very traditional Catholic ceremony. But the reception is all man cow. The reception is going to be a carnival. You've got Greg Brady singing, Barry Williams. <laughs> yeah, Barry Williams. we got Captain Kirk going to be there, uh, William Shatner. The Kinks are playing, which is one of my favorite bands, Dave Davies. And uh, so, so it's, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Well, after that crazy reception, Sandy and man cow planned a honeymoon in Hawaii. Dan Jiggins joins us now with uh, what's coming up in sports. I'm speechless. <laughs>